Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, beginning in verse 3, where Paul says, And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. Paul was not a great speaker, but he was intelligent, and he did have a lot of education. Paul had to overcome his feelings when he preached the truth of God's word because he was afraid to speak the word of God, and it showed, but he did it anyway. We can't afford to go by our feelings. Because the devil can influence our feelings. And, and, if, and if that's all it takes to get us to move in the direction that he wants us to go, he'll have a field day with us. Verse 4. And my speech and my preaching were not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. So these people did not get saved because Paul put together a clever and persuasive argument for them to trust Christ. They didn't get saved because Paul stood up and told jokes or ran around and acted like a buffoon to draw attention to himself. Then he gets saved because he brought the the best musicians and the most popular singers and really put on a show. Paul gave them the facts about Jesus, straightforward facts about Jesus. And he preached to them the pure word of God about Jesus and about hell. And you can bet anything else that Jesus wanted him to preach about And they believed. By the grace of God, they believed. Because the word of God was proclaimed clearly. They were brought under conviction. They knew they were hell-bound. Because you can bet Paul talked about hell. Because Jesus talked more about hell than anybody else. And certainly Paul, being filled with the Spirit of God, would do the same. And if your preacher doesn't talk about hell, he's not filled with the Holy Spirit. He's not under the control of the Holy Spirit. He's under the control of his flesh. And why are you going there? And why are you supporting him? Anybody who isn't under the control of the Holy Ghost. Paul preached the pure word of God. People got saved. And they started living for Jesus. Verse 6. However, we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the princes of this age that come to nothing. Notice that the wisdom of this age or the wisdom of this world leads to nothing. The wisdom of this world may make you some money. It may make you popular, but it's not going to do you any good once you die. And that's the reason why Paul says that it leads to nothing beyond this world. The wisdom of this world doesn't do anyone a bit of good for eternity. And isn't that why the church is here? It's not to build your little church empire, make a name for yourself. The wisdom that Paul preached, which was found in the word of God, is not a wisdom that is recognized by the world as being cool, as being funny, as being anything special. The wisdom is recognized as being wise by those who are spiritually insightful. The wisdom of God found in the Word of God is not recognized by the lost as anything special, but it certainly is appreciated by Christians who have a penitent heart and a heart for Jesus. Study all of God's Word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going on five. To be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, pray for me and God's Word. And when you take a break from studying, go to the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com. Click the Donate button. Prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, so long.